Hello, Living Grace, and welcome to Phase 2. We are excited to get to gather together again. If you watched online today, we uh, we got a chance to come together, do a little dry run, practice what it's going to look like for us as we rejoin doing church somewhat closer to normal next week on June 7th. And with that, we wanted to walk you through what it's going to look like to sign up and to participate in that. First and foremost, uh, if you are not aware, Phase 2 allows Houses of Worship to have up to 50 people meet together. And for us as Living Grace to make that happen, it takes roughly 10 volunteers per service to make that happen. So we will have room for 40 congregants, and we've adapted to meet that by having three services now. So we've got a 8.30, a 10, and 11.30 service for you to attend. And now we get to sign up. Um, on our site, I've been inundated with questions about where to sign up, how to sign up. We are just now launching this, and I wanted to walk you through what it looks like so that everybody knows, the, the tech savvy and everybody else on the same page. So first and foremost, as you can see, we are on the Living Grace website page. That is where you will go first. Go to this updates to COVID-19 box. Select that, let it do its thing. And right here, you will be met with the wonderful celebration of us getting to meet again in person and a nice walkthrough of what that expectation looks like as we come together, how we're cleaning and uh, what this means for all of us. And if you can't uh, attend in person, you can still meet online. We will still be streaming the 830 service. And down at the bottom of that, please don't skip through it. It's wonderfully written by, by a, a wonderful volunteer. We, uh, we will have our chance to register for service. Click that link. It will take you to the Living Grace Church Center site. Church Center is kind of a, an offshoot attachment thing that we get through Planning Center that allows us to register for events and register for our light groups. So if you actually look over my tabs over here, this is where we register for light groups. So it may look a little bit familiar. Thanks, Fly. We got our three services right here, our 8.30, our 10, and our 11.30 service. To sign up, simply click on one of those. And there you go. There's a register button right there. One of the things you can do uh, so that you can track it and come back to it and if you've got to cancel your your registration per se, or you don't want to fill out your information every time, is right up here, you could log in. And that will take you to a spot where you fill in your, your phone number. It's real quick, real easy, pretty painless. But if you don't feel like doing it, you don't have to. It won't make a difference other than saving you a minute or two of your time as far as logging in your information. Um, there are 40 spots remaining, as you can see, when you go, before you even go through the process of getting signed in. We've got two options, two selections down there as far as spots uh, for adults and spots for children. As you read in that last little bit, Living Grace kids will not be meeting during this time. A uh, couple of things going into that, but mostly it has to do with the, the cleaning and keeping kids from touching everyone, everything, and they don't do the six feet apart thing very well. We, we had test runs, it was just, it was a mess. We didn't, we didn't test anything, I'm sorry. So if you go to register, make sure that you are registering numbers for yourself, your adults in your group, and kids. So if I were to register two and two, you saw how it automatically updated underneath both of those headings. Now it says 36 remaining. After my two, I would put in some information, put an email address there. Oh, uh, let's see here. There I am. Complete my registration. And wait for it. Boom. That's it. That, that is all you have to do. You will receive an email, and it will be that information off of the website so that nobody can say that they didn't see that and we really appreciate it if you read it that way that you can participate uh, with us as best you can when you come you know what to expect you know you'll be exiting from a different door than you entered through you you know that you'll be looking for a bench 
for you and your family if, you've, if you're bringing kids with you, because we will have things for them to entertain themselves with, some crayons and things that color on, very, very Jesus-focused. And we've got the benches out, so they've got a little table on which to do their coloring, because what's better than doing church together as, as a family? Um, we do want to make sure that you, you know that this sign-up piece is very important. In order to stay within the uh, restrictions of our 50 people, we are probably going to have to turn some people away who didn't sign up, but who are re repeat attenders of Living Grace, or they're members, or what have you. Uh, First-time first guests is where we will extend grace and do what we can to make allowances and, and compensation for them to be able to attend while doing our best to still stay under the 50. Now, that's going to be a play-by-ear kind of a thing, but we've got an excellent team of volunteers to, to handle that. We appreciate your cooperation in all of this to make this happen. We couldn't do it without you, and we, we really look forward to getting to see you. So please make sure you sign up so that we can do that. And we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, June 7th at 830, 10 or 1130. Love you, live in grace. See you later.